Today's video is setting up a tank for red belly piranhas. These are super popular fish. What's up guys, me and Avery hanging out in the fish room as per usual. Uh, today's video is going to be on aquarium piranhas and the reason is because there was a lash out on my video. It, it was the video, aquarium piranhas are boring. A lot of people have been sending me videos saying, you're stupid, you're wrong, you don't know what you're talking about. You're uh, may, a lot of trolling. Uh, I think a, what I'm getting, what I'm gaining from that video is a lot of people trying to set up a new aquarium just devoted to piranhas to have that badass fish. And these aren't like actual uh, nerdy aquarium geeks. They're like guys that big drive big lifted trucks and they want to have a tank full of predator fish that kill everything. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about that. Um, some updates. My fire mouths did lay fry. I want to show you guys. There's all the fry. The tank is a little uh, dirty because I've been just letting it go because I'm just going to, I'm going to trial and error this. I'm going to let the parents take care of these fry completely. I've removed all other tank mates and I want to see how well they can do it. So, because they have laid so much fry this time and that pair is getting so good at raising their fry or uh, essentially having the babies. I. I've usually taken them away from the adults, but I'm gonna give this a try. Yeah, yeah, I know. They know you're on camera, they know. <clears throat> All right, so aquarium piranhas. Let's talk about setting up a tank for aquarium piranhas, and uh, I wanna show you guys some videos people have sent me. I also threw on a more yellow light on my aquarium, my piranha aquarium, to give you guys a better view of my setup because mine is really low light and a lot of people complain, you can't even see inside the tank. So I have like a 5,000K, it's more of a yellow bulb on there to kind of give you guys a glimpse. And I want to talk about setting up a piranha tank. So, um, and why am I doing this video? Because I kind of want to rebuttal that aquarium piranhas are boring. I'm going to stick to my guns. They still are boring fish as far as, uh, I mean, if you're looking for a badass fish, get into get into some predator fish. Uh, I I'm not gonna show the tank because I've showed it like hundreds of times, but uh, Texas cichlids, red devils, jag cichlids, uh, flower horns. There's so many cooler, aggressive fish. If you're thinking about getting piranhas because they're badass, don't get them for that reason. <sighs> they're basically larger, a larger version of silver dollars or tetras. So let's flip the cam, and I'm gonna talk about this. All right guys, here is my aquarium tank. And first and foremost, uh, I will come out and say, this is a sad setup uh, for piranhas because I had, I started with 10 red belly piranhas at nickel size and uh, I had plans on upgrading and here I have five inch fish and I still haven't upgraded because I, I need to find a monster tank essentially and I just haven't done it. This is a great example of uh i preach to everyone um you know you can start in a smaller tank but you have to upgrade and everyone says that but it doesn't happen and this is a perfect case where it isn't happening so as you can see um i threw a yellow light on here like i was telling you guys and you can see these guys they are super timid like i said in my other video that has a lot of controversy around it where i said aquarium piranhas are boring and not to buy them uh, essentially, uh, this is a, this tank isn't very cool. Basically, I just threw a bunch of uh, some of the largest caves I had, like some fake decor, because that's all these guys like to do is hide, essentially. So I usually have um, a lot less lighting on this tank, but yeah. Let's jump to another tank here. This is a, uh, a guy sent me these. Uh, he, he said that his red belly piranhas are doing exquisite and they are super happy. So let's talk about setting up a tank for piranhas. This is going to be super simple because I'm going to just uh, lay it out. Uh, you're probably going to hate this, but this is the best parameters for piranhas. Essentially, you need to find the biggest tank you can get your hands on. And I would advise a six foot tank at minimum because as you can see, these guys like to swim back and forth and uh, it goes hand in hand with what I'm going to say next. Next, you need to get the biggest school of piranhas you can get your hands on. So the biggest tank 
you can find and the most the highest number of piranhas you can get your hands on because these are schooling fish and they're going to have more confidence in larger numbers and um that also goes hand in hand with the third thing um this get the best filter you can get your hands on because with a larger tank you're going to need a larger filter i would advise a canister filter or uh just anything like top end so to sum this up i'm basically telling you guys th this is not like i don't know how to say this politely but this isn't like beginner fish keeping so if you're thinking of setting up a tank for piranhas and you're a beginner i would advise you not to do this just because these fish actually need a lot of space um they need high numbers you know a lot of people want to get two or three of them like you see in this video and i highly advise against that because they just feel more secure in larger numbers it's like a lot of the the entire tetra family is this way like it's not news to any of us silver dollars black skirt tetras any kind of tetra on the for the most part like to be in larger schools and they feel more confident that way so and you may act I, I swear to God, a lot of people think their piranhas are doing great because they're swimming around like this nonstop. But I swear to you that it's probably insecurity instead. That's massed. It, it's massed insecurity. It, uh, these fish want to be in larger schools. So basically, these fish like to hide. They like to be in large schools. They like low lighting because their natural habitat is very low lit dark dark waters you know the amazon is dark dark waters and for you to blast a tank full of light like this you might think your piranhas are doing good and uh because they're swimming around like this doesn't mean they're good you know i forget the saying um uh, i forget the saying it's at the tip of my tongue but uh you know sometimes people differentiate a fish being healthy because they're just swimming around and living or wait, the saying is the fish are living. I, I'm, I'm being stupid right now. But anyways, guys, setting up a tank for piranhas. This is not for beginners. I'm happy to see you guys kind of give me a hard time for my videos uh, because I like it when you stand up, but I'm still going to stick to my guns on piranhas being boring fish to buy, and you can buy a lot cooler fish.